What's up, guys? Let's do some grilled pork chop over corn salad. I know it's winter, but you can summer it up any day, any time with my grilled pork chop recipe. So let's do it. I have three pork chop here that I allow to soak in acidity of lemon juice. You could use any kind of red wine vinegar or so. That's why there's always a discoloration on my, some of my meat because I love some acidity, uh, you know, soaking up on them. So now I dry rubbed it with Priscilla's or purple seasoning, no salt if you can see. And then all I did was allowed it to marinate overnight. Here you go. Next day, this is what's up. Preheat uh, pre your grill and then bring it to medium high heat. And then you want to drop that pork chop. Then season the other side just so we can get some crust to eat. All right, this is gonna go to medium high heat, and then we shall grill that for we grill that for about seven minutes. Okay, make sure you grill all sides because you want to also um, melt all the fat on the sides. You don't want no fatty end. Here you go. Once that was cooked, I set it aside, and then I took an organic uh, romaine lettuce, washed it, and then char grilled it. Cut it in half and simply season with salt and pepper and char grill. There you go. Set that aside. Let's saute our corn. So I put some corn, some uh, oil in a pan ginger, garlic, red pepper flakes, and yeah, I also added some mustard seeds and allowed it to infuse for at least two minutes. I added fresh frozen corn. If you have a fresh one, you could go ahead and use that. So then I zested a whole lime and also its juice. To accentuate the sweetness of our corn, I added a little bit of agave nectar, just about a teaspoon. Yeah, and so then I added some Roma tomatoes, organic one that I've uh, simply quartered, just so that it soaks up all the flavor already in your pan of corn. All right, here we go, guys. And let me tell you, they all come together in a perfect holy matrimony. My name is Priscilla. You made up Priscilla's Kitchen LLC.com. Everything on my plate has been seasoned. I dropped some pea shoots and also crispy bacon. Yeah, if you're going to eat it and enjoy it, you might as well do it right, people. And here you go. I'm salivating just looking at this meal. Yeah, you can grill in winter. Guys, thank you for watching. Be sure to go to Priscilla's Kitchen LLC.com and shop your spices. And if you're not following me or subscribing, do it now. And thank you for watching. See you all next time in Priscilla's Kitchen.